After the study is complete, you can view a full range of results. These are distributed in folders containing numerical and plotted values in 2D and 3D. The report folder contains a report generator and the results table. The report generator displays all the information that you can select to be distributed. By checking or unchecking certain types of results, you can customize the report to contain only the information that pertains to your needs. The report document can be saved in either HTML or Word document format. The results table gives some basic analysis values for magnetostatic studies, such as the inductance, flux linkage, and energy. There is a wide range of plotting results. They include the magnetic flux density, the magnetic field, the applied current density, the force distribution, the temperature distribution and gradient, and the heat flux. The plots of these results can be viewed in full 3D or on segments between a set of points in a 2D plot. A 2D plot can show magnitude variations or axis-dependent changes. By selecting points on the solids in the assembly, or reference points added in SOLIDWORKS, a linear segment or a group of segments can be tracked. Changing the number of points changes the accuracy and precision of the plot. The corresponding value is then displayed on the plot. You can also track the plot to find the magnitude at a specific displacement. You can also switch to a list view to view the values numerically. Three D plots show the field or flux distributions over the entire assembly. These field plots can be viewed as continuous plots, or they can be viewed in vectors. In vector plots, you can change the density of vectors as well as their size to optimize the view of the field. The continuous plot can be viewed in whole or in sections. Just as with a section view in SOLIDWORKS, you can view a cross-section of the field plot to see the behavior of the field at any location in the assembly. Multiple sections on different planes can be added as well. These planes can be parallel to the axes or they can be at an angle. In addition to the section view, the field can be shown using isosurfaces. Isosurfaces show field locations depending not on position, but on the magnitude. With one study complete, you may want to make some minor changes to the analysis inputs and see different results. You can start a new study from scratch where you apply new restrictions, different materials, maybe even a different mesh. Or you can copy an existing study and make small changes to these pre-processing inputs. These studies can be run individually, or they can be run all together by selecting Run All Studies. There are more capabilities available in EMS, which can be seen in other video tutorials in this series.